Triple H versus CM Punk at Night of Champions. Hmm. You know, that could be a good match. But it seems to me like it's a little bit premature. Meaning that it's too early. Just a little bit. Hmm. I would have thought that maybe the WWE would have capitalized on a Triple H and CM Punk feud later on down the road. I mean, sure, these guys have had words back and forth with one another each week, but, you know, we haven't seen any physicality between these two just yet. And uh, now, CM Punk's words have gotten under the skin of Triple H so much that he has now put himself in a match with Punk at Night of Champions. Now, we all thought it was going to be Kevin Nash taking on CM Punk, at Night of Champions because that's the match that was signed at the beginning of tonight's Raw. And, and speaking of tonight's Raw, damn, this was a good show. They called it the Raw Super Show. In fact, Triple H made a statement saying that we are going to see these Raw Super Shows each and every week. Now, what is a Raw Super Show? Well, if you don't know, all it is, it's a Raw that has both Raw and and SmackDown superstars on it. And we have seen these type of shows before, and every time they have a Raw super show, it always ends up being good, and tonight's Raw was definitely no exception. This was a great Raw. We got six matches on a Monday Night Raw. When is the last time you saw six matches on Raw? I know it's been a long time, but uh, wow, the matches were actually pretty good. I really liked the Randy Orton and Dolph Ziggler match. I thought that was a great match. Uh, Randy Orton got the win with a sweet-looking RKO on Dolph Ziggler. I also thought the CM Punk and Miz match was good. Uh, the crowd was really digging that match as well. Of course, R-Truth came out at the end. He interferes, causing the Miz to get DQ'd. You know, I definitely see the WWE putting The Miz and R-Truth together as a tag team. You can already see the signs in the audience of the crowd showing their love for this duo. And really, it only makes sense, especially with Triple H trying to revamp the tag team scene. I could definitely see these guys being a great tag team. Uh, we got to see Jack Swagger and Sin Cara. Uh, that wasn't really much of a match. That was more of a storyline progression type of match. You know, Vicky Guerrero comes out. You know, she's wanting to manage Jack Swagger, but of course Dolph Ziggler doesn't want that to happen whatsoever. He quickly follows Vicky Guerrero to ringside, distracts Jack Swagger, causing him to lose against Sin Cara. Uh, we got to see Air Boom. That's right, Air Boom. Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston. They defended the tag team titles against McGillicuddy and Otunga. Of course, they got the wind rather quickly. And, of course, uh, unfortunately for Kofi Kingston, he didn't get the pyro at the beginning when he came out. He went for the boom, 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 but there was no boom, boom, boom. <laughs> kind of funny, actually. Uh, Kelly Kelly took on the Bellas. The Bellas got the win, of course, with Twin Magic. They did a little switcheroo. And then the main event, Mark Henry and Christian taking on Sheamus and Cena. And that was a decent little match. Sheamus and Cena got the win. But, you know, overall, Raw, what a great show. You see, WWE, this kind of thing works. You know, you do that brand split all those years ago. And, yeah, it worked out for a little while. But then you quickly realize that with your lack of main event talent, that that kind of thing just will not work anymore. So, combine these rosters like you used to do back in the old days and you know let the magic just work on its own you know this raw proves that combining the rosters is the right thing to do and of course tomorrow night we have the live smackdown where we're going to see the rosters combined once again this is going to be awesome but anyways i gotta say raw overall was good uh, Triple H taking on Punk at Night of Champions. Of course, we're still three weeks away. There's no telling what could happen with that. That match might not even take place. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. This is Gold Dizzy. Peace out.